channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this dress that has this uh, funnel sleeve so the first thing you're going to do i think you might need about three yards of fabric to make this so my i'm using my two yards like i don't want mine to be i don't want a lot of flay so this as you can see this fabric is folded into two right so this is the first part of the two yards of fabric remember this is an akara fabric that i'm using so all I have to do is just to turn it around this way, just like you're trying to angle it. But remember, the more you angle it this way, the more flay you would get, right? Like I said, I want mine to look like A-line. I don't want it to look like circle or like have a lot of flay here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use two yards. But if you want more flay, that means you will need to fold your fabric. Maybe two and a half is what you're going to fold. So that once you turn it around this way, you can be able to um so that once you fold it this way you you um it can be able to contain all this here so for me i'm using just two yards so i'm just going to fold it this way so guys as you can see i'm cutting both the front and the back together this is just going to have a button at the back of the neck so what i'm going to do now is just to insert my shoulder measurement so from the end here the end of this fold this folded part here you're going to measure this length all the way to this part just to figure out what you want to use so i want my dress to be 38.5 length so i added 1.5 to it so that's why i have 40 here so 40 is going to be the length of my dress not the length of the dress but like the length of the fold i'm working with so from this point now where the 40 is which is at this point i now mark a straight line across right so let's say you you know the length you're working with you're working with let's say you're working with 35 you add 1.5 to it that means you're going to um have about 37 so somewhere here this is where you're going to insert your shoulder measurement so but this is where my shoulder measurement fits in so at this point here i'm going to divide my shoulder by two which is 16 divided by two is going to be eight mark that here insert my armhole which is going to be um 10 divide um 10 which is 20 divided by 2 connect it up to this point and then on this line i'm going to give it a curve mark one inch down here for shoulder slope put in my neckline i'm going to be using the basic three inches neckline here connect this shoulder slope to this one inch here and then after that on this line here i'm going to make sure that my bust measurement fits in so this same line i'm using as my armhole line is going to serve as my chest line so on this line here i'm going to just divide my bust by four the bust i'm working with is 10.5 divided um sorry 42 divided by four is 10.5 i added half an inch for ease because you don't want this type of cloth you don't want it too fitted so that's why i have 11 here and then plus extra one inch of seam allowance that's 12. so if you look at it you see that it's 12 that i have here so guys now the next step for me is just to go ahead from this line here i'm going to go ahead and mark 40 and then you're just going to move it along and keep marking the 40 or whatever length you're working with just like that so guys now that i've connected mine my mine is done so i just need to start cutting it out now So I'm going to just remove my shoulder slope now and then from this point you can just come down one inch for your back neckline just like this one inch from here to here so I'm cutting the back neckline out with the front neckline but before I cut out the depth of my front neckline I'm going to separate the two so but before that you also split open the top one so guys now I'm going to separate the two so guys what you have to do is the back as i've separated it now the back i open it up by like six inches down for the center back so i can be able to put in my button and then the only difference in the front now is that i have to bring down my neckline by like three inches down right 
and then give it a curl. So this is now my front neckline. And then by the armhole here, you're going to divide the length from here to here, which is 4.5 for me, somewhere here. And then at this point, you go in by half an inch, connect it with a curve to this point, and then with a straight line to this point. So I'm going to cut out this here because the front armhole is supposed to be deeper than the back. So guys, as you can see, I've cut out the neckline for the front and then cut out the armhole. So my fabric is done. The body of the dress is done. So all I have to do now is to cut the sleeve. And to cut the sleeve is still the same method that we use in cutting the dress. As you can see, this fabric is also folded into two. It's folded into two this way. And then what, what I'm going to do is just the same way we folded it for the, like in form of an A-line, that's how I'm going to also fold this one. So guys, remember the more you fold, if you have more fabric, then don't fold it this way. You might be able to open it up and work with it that way. But just know that the more you fold, the more A-line you have at the end, right? So all you have to do is just to fold your fabric again. And then you're going to, we are cutting both the front and the back together. You're going to find where your armhole um, fits in. So let's say my armhole is 9. That's 18 and um, divided by 2 is 9. So it's going to fit in on this line here. So you're going to find out where the 9 fits in from here. So it fits in perfectly down here. You're going to mark a straight line this way. And then you're going to go up like 4 inches above that. And then you're going to connect from that point here. To this four inches the end of this line to this four inches this way and then you're going to find the center this is 10 half of 10 is going to be five and then you're going to give it a curve below and then a curve above so this is basically my sleeve here and then from the top part of this sleeve here you're going to now add your length so depending on what you want your length to be so depending on what you want your length to be, you're going to just go ahead and add it. So let's say my length is going to be 19 plus 1.5, right? 1.5, 1 inch of folding the end, half an inch of the, for the top part. So that's going to be 21.5, just like that. Remember to, that 4 inches you went up, but remember to make it a straight line so that you can be able to move your tape and figure out the length you're marking here. So it will help you so that it will be like a landmark of where your line is supposed to be. Just like that. So guys, just like that, all you have to do now is to go ahead, cut this part, cut it up to this point, cut down here, cut like this, and you have your sleeve. Okay, I've gone ahead, joined the two shoulders together, joined the sleeve, and then I used like a facing for the back neckline. Just use like, cut out a fabric that is like four inches of width, sew down the center and then flip it inside out i've done it several times here so that's just what it looks like on the inside just like a facing like this on the inside so this is basically the neckline for the dress so the back is the one with the opening so now all i have to do is just to go ahead and finish up the front so to finish up the front you're going to measure put the back together and then you're also going to put the front together this way and then you're going to place your tape from the back and then you're going to measure it and make sure you get the accurate measurement from the back and then to the front neckline so that you can figure what your neck is so for me it's about 8.5 i've measured it before so after that you're going to go ahead and cut out your what you're going to use for the neckline as you can see i've ironed my and i want to use about 3.5 inches of width so when I fold it this way, this is what I have. So I'm going to just fold it again this way. You can iron in your stay so that it's a little bit stiff. So now what I'm going to do is to measure that 8.5 that I got here. So which is somewhere here on a fold, right? 8.5 on a fold. And then I have extra half an inch here at the end just to be able to close up the edge. So that's what I have here what i got as my measurement which was 8.5 somewhere at this edge and then about half an inch for closing up this end so now that i've closed it from the wrong side i'm just going to flip the two edges out right so i'm going to flip them out this way and then i'm going to go from one end to the other so i'm going to start from one end at the back here and then i'm going to put this inside so i'm going to flip like half an inch at the edge of this cloth this way so that i can tuck in the rough end so tuck it in this way 
you see it's clean now and then i'm going to fix this in between and just like that i'm going to sew it all the way around so i get to the other side of the back so guys this is it here it's done so all you have to do now is just to go ahead and put one button on the other side like i said you see what i did here i just made this small strap here and attached it on one side of the neckline just between where this part and the top of the collar uh, meet each other so i'm just going to put my button on the same spot on this side so it's going to be somewhere here and that's basically what this is going to look like at the back so this is the neckline this is the sleeve here and then this is the body of the dress just like that you can add a pocket if you want to and that's basically it thank you guys so much for your time and i hope you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe bye